Well, I love searching these for rotations and a price range on those $40 to $75 on the 2001 $1 coin rotation. So the front design is rotated from the back design. So let's pop this coin out of this $1 roll and see if we're lucky, if I'm lucky, um, or you're lucky as well, be watching. <laughs> we're all lucky. Let's see if it's a rotated Federation $1 coin. So to check, you hold the coin at the top and the bottom. So everything's upright on this side. And when I flip it around, the coin is supposed to be pointing to three o'clock over that way. But if she's pointing in a different direction, then it is worth those values that are on that sheet right there. So um, here we go. Oh, that could be just slightly up. It might have just tilted a little bit as I turned it. So let's go. No, that's pointing to three o'clock. So her nose pointing to three o'clock on the coin there. But um, I have found one where the queen's pointing up to about one o'clock on the coin like that. And you can get them on these coins where she's pointing in all sorts of directions. So it's worth checking those. I've only ever found one to date, but I love searching for them because um, who knows, I might find another. All right, these $1 coins, there's lots of things to find like little blobs of metal like the backpack error where you get a bit of blob on the back of the kangaroo over here you could get a rabbit ears error as though it's got floppy ears you've got a blob of metal through here the spewroo error where you've got a blob of metal on the back here or a blob of metal on the back right there <laughs> and so that's those, those kangaroos had a little spew on the back of the other one so 2016 coins, um, they made a lot of them and they tend to have a few of those errors. So 2016 $1 coins, check them out for some of those blobs. Here we go, this is 2016. That might have a little spew root on the back right there. No, it was just a bit of dirt. Okay, I'm not seeing any other errors on that one. So it got a little bit of a raised section of rim. Might have a little bit of a raised section of rim over here, but it does have a bump on that edge of the coin too. So I'll probably just let it go. Nineteen eighty-four, the first year they started producing one-dollar coins in Australia. Before that, they were the paper banknotes. Two thousand and one. Let's check for rotations. No. Here we go. Two thousand and sixteen. Let's check for those little errors. Not on that one. Can get some uh, extra metal through these grooves on these land care one dollar coins, but that one doesn't have it. Last coin here, a 2011 $1 coin. Cool.